does Lucy brush her hair every morning? Did you put eyeshadow on for pictures? They've got their masks, they've got their book bags, they've got their school smiles ready for school photos, they've got their water bottles, and they've got their multivitamins. Today's video is sponsored by iHerb, and I'm super excited to get into all the details, so keep watching, let's get these kids off to school. I love you. I love you. I love you. Bye, people. All right guys, by the title of the video, you are here because you saw that I said the word pregnancy. And if you remember a clip several months ago, I said something about, well maybe we'll get pregnant in September. We'll and look forward to something surprising in September. Well guess what month it is, it's September. No, I'm not pregnant, but Landon and I feel like we're starting to get closer to that time of when we want to have another baby. But honestly, the reason why we've kind of like held off a little bit is because I just don't feel like my body is ready yet. I've gone through four pregnancies, I've had four babies, and each one is getting harder, and this will be the first pregnancy in my 30s, assuming that I do get pregnant. And I'm nervous, I'm scared, because my body is not the same as it was with like my first pregnancy. With Lucy, I could tell that I was like, not getting slower and older, but my body just like hurt a little bit more. I feel just like I need to improve my body before I get pregnant again. It's been summertime, we've been in the sun a lot, we've been moving, and so I'm going to go over a few things about how I wanna prepare my body before I get pregnant again. If it was up to land and we would have five more kids is what he said. And we would have had them like. <laughs> and I would have boom, 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 boom. boom. I said, no, so I Landon. Always have a little baby. Time. Yeah, he loves little babies, love kids. He's a good daddy. So I mentioned earlier that today's video is sponsored by iHerb, and I'm so excited because this is something that is truly like important to Landon and I. Landon's expertise in school is exercise, nutrition, health all of that stuff and so he is very very particular about the kind of supplements and herbs or vitamins minerals the things that we take he does his research and he will only take certain ones the one thing that i love about iherb is when they ship your products they ship them climate controlled whereas a lot of other retailers you just get what you get and you don't know how it's been shipped having it shipped climate controlled keeps the properties the way they are supposed to in your supplements iHerb carries vitamins, supplements, natural health products, and they ship to over 180 countries. They have everything from supplements to sports nutrition to grocery store items and more. One of my biggest challenges, especially during pregnancy, is staying hydrated. I know I don't drink enough water and I know I need to drink more and I really have a hard time just drinking plain water. So the first product I wanna talk about is the Hydration Up Electrolyte Drink Mix. It's got vitamin C and E in it. It's got some electrolytes to really help keep me hydrated and it tastes so good. It doesn't have any extra added sugar in it, but it really does taste so good and so having this extra boost to help keep me hydrated is number one. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about is my skin. And this is huge for me, because as soon as I hit 30, I saw a huge decrease in like my skin overall texture. And so I have been doing chemical pills and microneedling, but it's gotten really expensive. And I've wanted to do those things before I get pregnant again to help fix the pigmentation. I've got a lot of like acne scarring pigmentation. And so I found this French grapeseed extract. And what I love about this is that it helps support healthy skin production. So it's been really great to add the grapeseed extract into my skincare regimen so that my skin really has what it needs to feel healthy from the inside out. One thing to know also with these products this is one of the things that Landon did when he researched them there is no GMOs there's no gluten because I know a lot of people can't have any gluten so this is definitely I feel like a really good line to go with if you have any of those kind of intolerances okay do you guys remember after I had Lucy this always happens with every baby but when my babies are about three months old I lose my hair and I am like literally let me let me look up in the viewfinder I am still trying to get my hair back you can see it right there is kind of a bald patch but it's also really thin underneath here and so I'm still trying and I'm working on getting my hair and nails strong 
With moving, I have been cleaning a lot the past month, and so my nails have gotten really thin and chipped, especially going to the swimming pools all summer long. I haven't painted my nails because I want them to kind of air out and get strong. So this choline silica complex, it is amazing. I'm so excited because not only will it help strengthen my nails and my skin, but also connective tissue and bones. When I am pregnant, my entire like pelvic area feels loose, my bones feel weak, my joints feel loose, and so this stuff is really going to help me feel like put together. So this is just like a dropper, it's liquid. You put like 10 drops in your drink. I like to put it with my electrolyte mix. You just put 10 drops in it every day. And I really think that this is going to help with my nails, my skin, my hair, as well as all of that connected tissue I was talking about because that is very important when carrying babies is to have like a strong pelvic area. Last but not least, let's focus on the kids. The vitamin that they took this morning is the Chewable Vitamins Calcium Plus Magnesium for Children. They taste like birthday cakes, so the kids love them. So like I said earlier, iHerb has over 30,000 different supplements. I will definitely be taking like iron and prenatal vitamins and all of that stuff when it gets a little bit closer to me getting pregnant. But for now, I feel like this is a really good start to get my body where it needs to be before we get pregnant. All right, that was a lot of information. So I'm going to go ahead and down in the description below, I will have the name of the supplement as well as a link and any information about it. So go ahead, check out the links in my description below and let's get healthy together. Okay, so the one thing that we have been consistent about is doing yoga. Since the summer, it has been super fun. We'll do it with the kids. Right now the kids are in school, so it's just going to be Landon and I, but yoga is so good for the body. Hey Landon, if you want a Christmas present idea for me, a yoga mat would be, would be a good idea. I got your 400 square feet of yoga mat, it's called brand new carpet. <laughs> a couple's yoga mat. Do they make those? I don't know. Okay, we're just watching a little YouTube video over here to the side. Oh, she's having a stand up Landon. We gotta like, Good. get with it here. So while we're doing a little bit of yoga, I remember my dad once said, he's like, our goal is to have kids before, or no, have all the kids out of the house before we retire. I thought that was a fun goal. That way he can be like a young, healthy, active grandpa. <laughs> totally. And what is your goal, Landon? Just to stay in shape enough to keep up with my kids. Yep, that's what he always says. I want to be able to take them rock climbing and mountain biking and all the stuff they want to do, and I don't want them to run off and do it by themselves. I'm going the wrong way here. <laughs> All right, ab workouts is are totally not my favorite, but I know it is what I need. Oh, I can feel it already. A little shake. Oh wow, you're going hardcore. Huh? Oh, but no, I don't have to do that. I'm not doing that then. Ah. Ah. All right, Lucy is working hard at cleaning. I think that is a sign that she's ready to be a big sister. Do you want to be a big sister? No. No. Do you want to be the baby of the family? Yeah. Yeah? Do you like being the baby of the family? <laughs> All right, so this room is something else I'm going to have to be thinking about. Right now it is, well, the baby's room. It's Lucy's room. She needs to be transferred to a big girl bed. We are going to be doing that very soon. And so we're gonna be taking down the crib and it makes me a little sad. But then, in maybe a year or so, I guess it depends on how many months it takes to get pregnant, but maybe in about a year we're gonna have to put the crib back up here and probably take Lucy downstairs to Emma's room. So yeah, this room is going to be transferred a few different times. Purple. Yes. She is being such a big helper. So I wanted to share a few thoughts really quick that I've had come to my mind that I've heard other people say before. And that's when their youngest gets to about this age where they're not taking naps anymore and they get comfortable and they get into a routine of things and they say, I don't want to bring in another kid because now I'm going to have to go back to the baby stage. I'm going to have to go back to the diapers, back to the like working around naps. 
And then it messes with the oldest child's schedule when if the oldest child wants to run off and do activities and, and I can't do stuff with the oldest child because now I have a baby. And there's all sorts of excuses that we can have to not have another kid, but honestly, you just have to go with what's like right in your heart and what feels best for your family. I hope that made sense just now. Even though I'm gonna have to go back Worst to baby stage, you guys, I'm so excited. Like I'm like getting really excited for this like new stage of life again, but sad that it's going to be our last. Like if we have a fifth, it will definitely be our last. And that makes me a little sad knowing that, knowing that. Red. R E D. What number? Two. And two. And one. Okay. Let's see what my fortune says. It says, I love your silly smile. That's so cute. Did you or Emma write that? Emma. Oh, hey, let me ask you a question. I know that you and Lucy are really close and you love her. Do you want her to be the baby of the family or do you want another baby in the family? Another baby. You want another baby in the family? You think that would be fun? That would be fun, huh? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's going to be hard going back to working your own nap schedules and diapers and crying? Well, we still have crying two-year-old it would be different huh okay well you guys thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you guys learned something new today remember I will leave the links down in the description below to iHerb so go check them out and maybe just maybe here in a few months we might have a positive pregnancy test video we will just have to see and play that by ear so you guys I'll see you guys in the next video you say bye bye